so today I'm going to be talking to you about my spring essentials. So basically I just have a ton of beauty products laid out including nail polish, um, some body stuff, obviously some lip products, some blush, um, some face things, and some eyeshadow that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I thought would be just, you know, fun to share with you, like what the things that I love for springtime. I, um, this time last year, I was kind of, I don't think I had started my channel yet, actually. It hasn't been a year yet. I think it's May 2nd that it'll be a year. But I was just kind of really diving into the whole makeup thing, so it's really weird to see my collection now and how it's grown and just... Ugh, it's so weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into my spring essentials. Alright, so I have four nail polishes I wanted to mention. The first one is OPI's Mod About You, and it's just a really pretty light pink color. I have this one on my toes. I love it so much. The next one I want to mention is a cult favorite. This is Mint Candy Apple by Essie, and it's just a bright, kind of Tiffany blue color. It's stunning on the nails, and like I said, super duper bright. This next one, if you guys follow me on Instagram, will look familiar, and it's Lacy Lilac by Sally Hansen. I have been obsessing over this color. It's just the perfect kind of lilac-y purple shade for spring. This next one, I'm not sure, was a limited edition shade. It's by L'Oreal. It came out last year around this time. It's called Pistachio Dream, and it's kind of like a mint green color, but it's got this really cool kind of green duochrome in it, and it's just really, really pretty on the nails, and I love it. Alright, so from the four nail polishes that I just showed you, let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and I will paint my nails that color tonight and then I will display the finished product on Instagram, so make sure to follow me there if you would like to see which one I chose. So next I'm going to move on to some makeup products. The first is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur um, Perfector thing. <laughs> and since the seasons are kind of changing, my skin's really changing, the texture of my skin's changing as well. And this stuff has just been really helping me out and I think it's an absolute spring essential. Just smooths over any like roughness on your skin, any blemishes, and just kind of helps the foundation go on that much smoother. Speaking of foundation, I have been obsessed, and when I say obsessed, I truly mean obsessed, with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm in the shade W2, which is just light ivory, and I use the warmer side, so the yellow tones, and I love this foundation. It's super light, yet buildable, like it gives you just enough, like just enough coverage for springtime, and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on your face. It's just an amazing foundation all around. So clearly I have been on a L'Oreal kick and the next product is an absolute obsession as well, especially with the foundation. This powder is flawless on the skin. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. I think I used this in my recent Fresh Face makeup for spring and it truly is. Like it's super light, very, very nice coverage and it's just, oh my gosh, it's stunning on the skin. It doesn't look cakey at all. I mean this powder, I wish I had picked it up sooner because I am so incredibly in love with it. So I have three blushes to show you that I have been loving for spring. The first one is by Clinique. This is the Clinique Ginger Pop Blush. The packaging, of course, is adorable. And this is the color for you. It's just a really pretty kind of burnt ginger color. It looks really gorgeous on the cheeks. Kind of gives you that nice kind of hint of a glow kind of tan look to the cheek. The next color I want to mention is by MAC. This one is called Rosy Outlook, and it's just a really pretty, very soft, very light pink color, and it's just stunning on the cheeks. The last blush I want to mention is from the drugstore. This is by Milani. This is number 10, Delicioso Pink, and it's one of the new matte shades. It's a super vibrant, very, very bright <laughs> um, baby pink color. It's super pigmented and amazing for springtime. So of course I have to mention a bronzer because seeing as how we're getting into spring and summer, it's getting a little bit warmer and we kind of want to make the skin look a little bit more bronzy. And the perfect bronzer for me at least for my fair skin has been the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and it is gorgeous and it smells wonderful and it's just the perfect color. It's not too brown, it doesn't like it's not too orange, it doesn't look muddy on my skin, it just adds a nice like little bit of color to my face. Silver eyeshadow. There's just something about springtime that makes me go back to loving my Naked Palette. I have been using this a lot recently. I'm wearing it today on the eyes, if you guys can see, and I just have been loving it, especially the color Sin up here. It's just a really pretty shimmery pink color, and Naked, and Buck, and 
I mean, Dark Horse, Toast, I mean, all the colors in here are just perfect for like an everyday, kind of light, fresh spring look. And I know it looks like it could be like really dark and smoky, which of course you can do that, but if you stay up here in this range, like the lighter ranges up here, I mean, you really can get a nice look out of it for spring, and I've just been obsessing over it. And I think, I don't know, I just love the Naked Palette, plus this is like the same time of year that I purchased it last year, so I've just been falling back in love with it. Also, for eyeshadow, I would definitely recommend Color Tattoos from Maybelline. This one, I think, unfortunately, was limited edition. I'm sorry. It might still be out. It was for the Spring 2014 collection. This is in Pure Nude, and it's just a really pretty, light, shimmery champagne color. These are perfect for days that you're just lazy. You don't want to fool with too much eyeshadow or anything. You can put these on. Once they set, they're there. They're not leaving, and it's just kind of... A simple way to make it look like you spent some time on your eyes, but you really didn't. So of course I have quite a few lip products to mention because I hoard them. So first I'm going to talk about what I'm wearing that I'm obsessed with. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Hubba Bubba, which is just a really pretty light baby pink. Like it's super light. If you have a lot of fine lines like me, um, I would definitely make sure to exfoliate your lips beforehand just so the color looks really nice. And then also I've been loving to top it off. This is unfortunately limited edition. It's from the Maybelline Color Elixirs. And this is the shade Polished Petal. And I'm going to swatch these for you and give you a close-up. But it's just a really light pink color, and it's just the perfect combo. I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to see it up close. But here is the lipstick from NYX and Hubba Bubba. And then if you guys can see it, that is the gloss from Maybelline. Next, I have a lipstick from Rimmel. This is from the Moisture Renew line, I think. And this color is 220 Pink Chic. And it's just a really pretty creamy pink color. Really good for just everyday wear. You just want to throw something on and go. So there is that one for you. Next, I have one from Wet n Wild. This is from the Fergie Collection in VI Pink. Ooh, the packaging on this always scares me because I always end up like taking a chunk of the lipstick off but this is kind of like a matte shade so if you want to wear a gloss that it, it's perfect but it's just perfect for spring I love this pink color and lastly for lip products I have a fun little butter gloss to talk about and this is the NYX butter gloss in sugar cookie it's a super fluorescent bright pink and I just think it's awesome for spring I cannot get over the pigmentation of these butter glosses like I mean for a gloss this is amazing so here it is again this is a sugar cookie so for spring and summer tanning is definitely an essential for me because I'm so fair skinned I'm not gonna go lay out in the sun because all I do is burn and I'm not gonna go to a tanning bed just because that's not how I like to do things so of course self tanner is in my opinion the best way to go and my favorite is the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse this is just the best self tanner that I've tried so far. I absolutely love it. It doesn't streak. It's not super opaque when you first put it on. Like, I just love the fact that it's very buildable. Like, it doesn't come off like super dark. I mean, they have a darker mousse for that if you're looking for something like that. But I like the more buildable color. So that way, because my skin is so fair, it's not going to, like, if I miss a spot, it's not going to look extremely scary. <laughs> like, where it's like super white and then tan. So anyways, I do love this. I, I'm like obsessed with it. And you will definitely be seeing a review on this and probably a demo um, in the near future. So next, to keep myself tanner really intact through the week that I wear it, I have been loving the hemp lotion for a long time. This is the Hemp Moisturizer Body Lotion for Dry Skin. It's by Malibu Tan. I got this at Walmart for like $4.80 something. Now they have the hemp lotion um, at Ulta, but it's like $25. This stuff smells the exact same way, I promise you, and it's like a fraction of the cost. It's it's amazing. It smells good. It smells like you just got back from the beach, like you just went tanning. It's an amazing smell. It reminds me so much of spring and summer, and I highly recommend it if you guys have not tried it. Alright guys, so that was kind of a lot of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you very soon. I love you. Bye!